in complex analysis, an essential singularity of a function is a severe singularity near which the function exhibits odd behavior. The category essential singularity is a leftover or default group of singularities that are especially unmanageable. By definition they fit into neither of the other two categories of singularity that may be dealt with in some manner, removable singularities and poles. Formal description. Consider an open subset U of the complex plane C. Let it be an element of U and F. U, A, C, A, holomorphic function. The point A is called an essential singularity of the function F if the singularity is neither a pole nor a removable singularity. For example, the function F equals E1, Z has an essential singularity at Z equals 0. Alternate descriptions. Let it be a complex number, assume that F is not defined at A but is analytic in some region U of the complex plane, and that every open neighborhood of A has non-empty intersection with U. If both N exist, then A is a removable singularity of both F and 1, F. If exists but does not exist, then A is a zero of F and a pole of 1, F. Similarly, if does not exist but exists, then A is a pole of F and a zero of 1, F. If neither nor exists, then A is an essential singularity of both F and 1, F. Another way to characterize an essential singularity is that the Laurent series of F at the point A has infinitely many negative degree terms. A related definition is that if there is a point for which is not differentiable for any integer, then is an essential singularity of the behavior of holomorphic functions near their essential singularities is described by the cassaracia weierstrass theorem and by the considerably stronger Picard's great theorem. The latter says that in every neighborhood of an essential singularity A, the function f takes on every complex value, except possibly one, infinitely many times.